Hey guys, how are you? How was your weekend? Let's get into today's video. We're going to talk about apartments. I was watching Gabby's video. You should know who she is. That's one sister, Nikki. They have a main channel together where they do fashion and makeup and so much more. And they have their own vlog channels. So I was watching her recent video on why she got evicted. I watched the whole thing. Uh, Gabby didn't do anything wrong. She did ask to have a Halloween party. And the landlord said that was a no-no. And while she was on vacation, staying in the garbage thing, was it being taken care of? It's kind of confusing on schedules like that. But she let you know, like, ahead of time. Like, hey, when someone's house sitting in your place, and the person I don't think did anything wrong neither, saying your card, no. The lady was jealous of Gabby. When she started receiving a lot of mail, which is makeup, and thought she was going to get free makeup from Gabby. Really? Uh-uh. And talked to her like a child. Towards the end, a long story short, she got a new place now. So you go, girl. And the lady that you rented it first, I was like, wow. That was quick. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Because the way you treated her and the way you talked to her and said she did this and that and had anxiety to even post a vlog or go get her mail and had her friends go do it. That's very sad. It's like you was keeping her trapped in a little box and she couldn't do nothing. And she done something wrong and you pinpointed out in her video. Seriously, what are you going to get out of a 20 minute vlog? Come on. What? And like she vlogs her day. That's her job. This is what she does on YouTube. The lady is very jealous of her because she was getting makeup and she wasn't. So, moving on. <coughs> if you missed Friday's video, link in the description box below. A friend dresser haul is coming very soon. I asked you guys on Instagram and you voted. I had, I think, 18 yeses and 2 noes. So, thank you guys. And I also am doing a big Amazon haul. I'm so excited. YouTube. If you're going to do a YouTube channel, do it all for the right reasons, not the wrong reasons. Because people let it go through their heads. And I think these couple that I've watched is letting it go through their heads. How can you go on one vacation and go on another one that quick? And you just got home? Seriously? Wow. I hope there's a reason why, where you are. But then again, it's like you just having fun. Like you want to get away from everybody. Like, oh. We're going on this trip. If we was planning ahead of time, okay. But just coming home and then going somewhere? That is just like kind of fishy to me because you think you're better than me. No. I don't. You're not better than me than anybody else. You should be thankful for your viewers on how you got here. Because if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't be here today. You would not. And another note is like competition. Who can get more subscribers? Because this person has 3 million. You want to get to 3 million so bad. So you do anything and everything to get to that amount of subscribers. And getting a lot of brand deals. Because brand deals can take over real quick. There's another vlogger. And it took over a real quick. And fans noticed that. It was getting annoying. I get it. That you want to work with this company, you love them, you love what they do, but don't do brand deals all the time. That's kind of like crazy. It's just too overdoing it, and it's going to drive viewers away or new viewers in, something like that. But brand deals once in a while is fine. I don't care. It's okay, but don't let it. It goes to your head if you're going to do a YouTube channel for all the wrong reasons. Do it for the right reasons. And be yourself. Always be you. Don't unlike anybody else. Don't try to be fake. Or anything like that. Because your viewers are going to pick up on that. And what goes up will go down real quick. And I've seen that happen to a lot of other people that I used to watch. They're not around anymore. Mm -mm. And she would have been a very big makeup guru. Really big. But from what she did, wow, I forgot the girl's name. <coughs> she would do giveaways, right? And she had favoritism. 
that seems like the same people will win are different people, she randomly pick who she wants to win something. That's sad. Not giving new people chances and stuff like that, and only caring about what she was receiving because she was getting a lot of PR mail. That was about it in the money. She didn't care anything about else, anybody in there. And to my point of view, it's like that she got a bunch of um, her friends to make accounts to, so they will win something instead of somebody else from in the States. She's, she's just so wrong. And yeah, just do YouTube because you love to do stuff. Not for the wrong reasons. What do you think of these mystery boxes? I was like, if I ever done one, I would only pay like 10 or $20 for one. I wouldn't pay 1000 or 500 or more. That's way ridiculous. So if I pay like 10 or 20 bucks, that would be fine with me. But if you're going to do Mystery Box, make sure you read your reviews and stuff. Check out every detail about that seller before you make a purchase. So be careful. Because you can get ripped off, or you can get a good deal, or people can send you a bunch of fake things. I'm like, mm-mm. No. And Friends episode airs this Wednesday. I'm super excited. Hopefully it does, because the episode didn't air last week. So hopefully one will air this week. And I'll talk about it in Friday's video. I'm going to end into here. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already for future videos. And I'll see you in the next one this Friday. Peace.